So I am totally coming to you in an area where I didn't think I was going to. I actually was getting ready to start doing my makeup for this particular video when I was watching a video from one of my favorite YouTubers, which is Raven Elise, and she was making this little coffee thing. So I figured that even though this video is supposed to be surrounded around being healthy or health update, I figured why not be totally unhealthy and try to mimic the recipe that she did in that video with this little latte type drink. It looked very interesting so let's go try to make that. So like I said I was getting ready for this video and I'm like hmm that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna turn on the video which I am talking about. Coffee is one thing that it is saving my life when it comes to having both of the girls. I feel like no matter what, I'm not getting enough rest, which in turn, exactly as you can see from the recent upload that we did when we were doing the floors, I don't get sleep. So being in the morning when I am with the girls, I need some pick me up. I need some energy, some kit starter. So this looks really interesting. If I can find this video, please find it. No, 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 no. Okay, I think I found it. So. The girls are sleeping, as you can see. It looks like there's a towel. Oh, she's not sleeping. Wait a minute. Y'all, you guys, Noelle has to have a, a security blanket now because if she doesn't feel nothing close to her, she wakes up. Y'all see like when she touches the blanket to her that she starts to calm down. I actually got this little blanket sold it together so there's no way that it can suffocate her and you know i just let her live her life but anyway she's gonna figure that out let's hope but anyway the video i'm talking about is a day at home with us mom vlog Psst, that's probably a lot of videos i found this video because i've been aspiring aspiring y'all know what i'm trying to say to eat avocado toast she eats avocado toast you know when i research her name avocado toast this came up and when i was watching the video this drink idea came up so why not just go ahead and mimic her let's do it a big wide cup sugar ice the ground coffee i do actually have regular ground coffee but this has been my favorite right now which is the cinnabon classic cinnamon roll coffee so i'm just gonna puncture holes and use that instead i have my mixer i'm gonna angle it now and let's hope for the best oh wait milk i lactated and i got a straw don't kill me you guys i know y'all on this metal straw thing i'm just not there yet major key that you need for this or that i would recommend is one of these um automatic whisker things one to two tablespoons of instant coffee my cup is a lot wider than hers so i don't know that's probably more than enough right okay let's go and this is the little cup that came with this thing but you want to do this in a tall cup so it doesn't like splash everywhere and then you put your sugar so again like one to two tablespoons of sugar one to two tablespoons of water in here yeah let's go off hope and a prayer i think that's enough look at the grounds oh my god mix it up start mixing raven okay let's go faster raven how long am i supposed to sit here mine ain't doing that i got the same thing you got now Maybe, maybe I, maybe I did it. It looks so crazy right now. I think it might be because of the coffee. This may not be instant coffee, but I have this. Is this instant coffee? I don't know, but this smells so good. I don't know. I don't think Raven is failing me. I'm failing me. It's not working. 
since that was a huge fail, I guess I can go ahead and show you guys, which I was waiting to do this after I finished my makeup, but you know at this point, who cares about the makeup? Let's just continue with the video. Hi, it's me. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to come on here just to talk to you guys, give you a little bit of an update on what's been going on. Uh, postpartum my mental health including physical I kind of got enticed to want to talk about this because <laughs> I recently decided to get on a scale because I have noticed set this aside that I've been picking up some weight and it's really weird to me because I don't eat <laughs> that's what makes it more frustrating because i don't get to eat a lot of times dealing with two babies and my time and my energy is just pulled all over the place and it's kind of made me a little bit insecure because i am the biggest i've ever been and it kind of makes me upset and frustrated because i am the biggest i've ever been and i don't even eat half the time like my energy and my stress level is already at a high. I do realize that if you haven't watched my anxiety video, I will try to link it somewhere, but I have been going through it and I know that can help put on some weight, but I ended up getting on the scale and it literally said 199 pounds. Like, I never even been close to 200 pounds pregnant and to be postpartum and to be 200 pounds basically it is very disrespectful now before i continue let me just kind of go back into my health and physical form and you know eating things like that so i've always been a very muscular type of person i get that from my mom and my dad my mom and my dad were both bodybuilders so i was always very muscular and as we know mus muscle weighs more than fat so even when i was skinny and i can probably put up a couple pictures here this one picture in particular i was actually in my 20s and i was a hundred and about 35 pounds and in this picture i was 145 pounds but looking at these two photos, I do not even look that high. I kind of always been okay with that because also too, I always been very athletic, basketball, football, dancing was a huge passion of mine. So I always been very tough, um, muscular. They used to actually call me Angela Bassett Arms or Muscle Bound Slim Jim is what they used to call me at school. And it really made me insecure because I didn't like being muscular. I even had like muscle in my butt and my legs. And growing up back in the day, in our time, that wasn't cute, that wasn't attractive, so that made me very insecure. Fast forward, I started being very busy. I was working uh, roughly about an hour away from my house. From there, I would go straight from there and do like two classes at a community college that was roughly about 45, 30, 45 minutes east of where that was, still nowhere around my house. I would leave maybe around eight o'clock in the morning and I'll come home about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I did that for years. And because of that, uh, I started grabbing and eating things. So it was two weeks that I was extra busy. I remember being at work and I was really cool with my boss. And we started going out to eat for two weeks straight during lunches at work. And I swear, during those two weeks, I started to really pick up weight. So I started gaining weight from that point. So now fast forward, I kind of been picking up weight just easily. I always kind of had an issue with not eating as often as I should. I don't really know what to do and to help the situations. I have to gym three to four times a week for two years and lost like, 15 pounds. I even did a juice cleanse for two months and lost 10 pounds. And it seems that no matter what I do, nothing works. <laughs> what enticed me is to, to make this video is that it's not always a situation that 
you're overeating that is going to cause your weight gain one thing i know over the period of time is that when you don't eat often your body goes into survival mode so it starts to huddle on the fat because the fat is what it's going to use to burn fuel and energy and stuff to keep you constantly going so now with me i maybe now get one meal I get a coffee as soon as I wake up in the morning. And then from there, I forget to eat. I usually get my first meal after they go to bed at 8.30. Then by the time we settle down, unwind and watch TV a little bit and I make my food, it's probably easily 9, 10 o'clock at night. And then when I eat the one meal, it's usually like one big meal. So now, I just want to be able to document and talk about my process because it's another thing that is eating at even my mental health and it's making me insecure and I don't think I ever been insecure. Now I can tell that now I don't want to take the pictures, I don't want to film myself as much because of my weight. So I might as well just be honest about it and tell you guys where I am. So I know I have to be more conscious about eating, putting fuel in my body, drinking water. Water is one thing I never really had enough of and I need to do better. It's just something I gotta do if I wanna lose the weight. So after having no L, I ended up going on a 10 day juice cleanse that ended up lasting only four days. Then I caved in and I'm just like, I'm good. So I was just gonna give it a second shot and do it again. But now I decided that I am going to use these as well as like the naked drinks. Actually, let me just show you. Going in my refrigerator, sorry. My refrigerator is, it's a lot happening. Moving this stuff to the side. As you can see, I have a bunch of the sujas and naked and the boat house drinks just sitting here. Now I was gonna just juice with these because I used to juice my own drinks and I still have my juices to this day, but I really don't have the time to actually physically juice. I was gonna do it that way, but I changed my mind. So what I am gonna do is try to be very different than anything that I've done before and try to up my intake with water. I just bought on Amazon a one gallon drink thing that usually says the time and the water and where you're at, that type thing. And I'm gonna really try to up my intake. I started um yesterday doing that i only had 32 ounces yesterday today i actually had about 40. i am deciding to do that as well as try to create a little bit of healthy snacks type thing i end up going to the store and picking up some natural peanut butter because one thing I do want to implement more is a oatmeal style snack. So I've been seeing on a Pinterest and on YouTube people making like the little peanut butter balls, uh, which is oatmeal natural peanut butter. It's supposed to be no sugar added in this. Let's hope. Let me go ahead and show you what else I had got. Some chia seeds. This is expensive. And then I end up getting some flax seeds. Every time I see someone who is healthy, I always see them having flax seed and chia seeds. Please, I did do minor research, but um, I'm still learning. If you guys know what I can use these in, can I use these in the same thing? Like, I don't really know. I was just gonna start putting it little bits of both in my foods and my drinks and just is there too much of this that you can eat? I'm just really starting to understand. I'm trying to be a snack, even though I'm still a snack. I'm trying to be a snatched snack. Kind of closer. I really don't want to be skinny. Let me let me get that straight. But having a fupa is a problem for me. And having these arms that are a little bit bigger, I know I look like a giant highlighter, but I need to be a little bit better. I also got some raisins. I don't know. It just was something that said, get the raisins. I always thought like raisins could probably be like a, just a healthy something to snack on when I really just want to eat and that's not too much. How many calories in? 
it's 120 calories for this whole box this whole box got nine servings there ain't really nothing in here but there's is this natural sugars let me know got some honey i am hoping that between the uh chia seeds and the honey as well as i had got this uh vanilla almonds oh it's granola i am a dumb okay okay see i thought this was almonds because it says vanilla almond but this is actually granola see i went to walmart and i was just looking for granola like just something flat out granola but i was looking for it to be like this fine granola that you see here instead of like this chunky one that's like this so i'm like let's just get both because i'm hoping to start eating like parfaits and stuff like that so i end up getting some of this as well as some stuff for salads and just try to eat more often but eat more stuff like that so that my body won't just hold on to stuff so much but i do want to tell you guys that i am looking into potentially getting liposuction let me be frank i like my booty my legs even my arms is something really recent that i'm not okay with but my fupa has been something that no matter how small i've gotten even with losing weight throughout going to the gym and stuff like that um has never really went down i always kind of had a puff since gaining weight but after having kids it's a little bit more of a gut and that's a problem for me so i did end up scheduling for me to get a consultation or getting liposuctions in my maybe my arms i'm not really 100 percent sure mostly my stomach sides my waist area and my back so that is what i'm looking forward to i have my appointment actually next month so hopefully that is insightful i'm kind of looking forward to that because like i said lipo has always been kind of a topic on discussion, but even more so that's actually been more of my boobs. I always kind of wanted a whole mommy makeover after having kids, but I don't know if I'm 100% sold on my boobs anymore. I think I'll be fine. If my waist is snatched and my stomach is flat, I might be okay where my boobs is. My boob may be even look a little bigger, but when you have like big arms and stomach or whatever, your breasts tend to look a little smaller. So that's why I'm not 100% percent sold on them i don't really care about this right now it's my stomach that i care about and i feel like if i don't at least seek consultation about it now i may never because as i get older i might care less but i want to be able to wear a crop top i do i am tired of worrying about where the seams is in my clothes is that the problem now i'm not going to deprive myself of certain things if it makes more sense to eat certain foods i'm gonna just eat it and try to eat, eat it eat it in proportions this is just something different and i never hear of somebody talking about gaining weight when they don't eat and also on the other side of that and weight gain there's a lot of passive aggressiveness when it comes to people and people's weight especially after having a kid i feel like there's this un not unspoken because it's definitely spoken unrealistic expectation that women and especially after having kids need to be the tiana taylors and they just need to be snatched after having a kid and that's just not realistic that is not everyone's lifestyle and that's not everyone's genes it's a little bit more a sensitive topic to me because i I did just have two kids and when I see comments or even people in my life saying like oh you put on a little weight and stuff like that it's hurtful honestly because I'm like who just comments on somebody's weight like that is rude and unrealistic that even people in the comments or even on other people's video it's like oh she's getting big or this is what you can do to help and try to offer advice and it's like child i didn't ask for it and it's very rude to just be like 
you're big or what you've been doing. Like, people are too comfortable, especially in 2020. Stop being too comfortable. You don't know me. You don't know the other people. Like, just, just chill. And when the person decides to lose the weight, how do you not know if they're okay with their weight? Just because you may not like it doesn't mean like that person may not like their body. So we got to do a lot better in supporting the women who are having these kids. We do a great job in doing it when we are pregnant and it's like, oh, your baby bump is so cute and this and that or whatever. But as soon as that baby out of you, it's like the mother's trash and they got to get their life together. They got to learn how to be moms. They got to be snatched. They got to look good. They got to always do makeup and their hair done and all that stuff. It's just unrealistic expectations. We're human. We're living life, especially now during these times of the pandemic. You know, let's just chill out a little bit. But another thing that I want to kind of move this conversation along and give you an update on my mental health. So I'm going to change my battery and come right back.